Hey, Brandon Lee here with Virtualization How To. I hope everyone is doing well, and I'm here today with an exciting video of a new announcement from VMware. Uh, VMware today announced vSphere Plus and vSAN Plus as new solutions in their portfolio of products. What exactly is vSphere Plus and vSAN Plus? How is it going to affect your environment? What additional capabilities and features can you achieve using vSphere Plus and vSAN Plus? Well, stick around today. We're going to take a look at this announcement and see what new features are found in new solutions in their portfolio. So what are vSphere Plus and vSAN Plus? Well, in my opinion, today's announcement is the natural evolution of where VMware solutions and services are headed, and that is to the cloud. It also helps to strengthen the core capabilities, uh, including uh, configuration, monitoring, governance, and security with VMware vSphere Plus and vSAN Plus by way of a specialized cloud connector customers can essentially connect on-premises vSphere environments into a VMware cloud console and this allows customers to have that single pane of glass interface for management monitoring security and governance to see the entire landscape of vSphere environments across their organization now, if you are a VI admin today managing tens or possibly hundreds of vCenter servers with their respective vSphere clusters, it can be cumbersome to individually log into each of those environments, managing, configuring, uh, looking at alerts, uh, trying to get a feel for the health of the environment. Uh, that can be cumbersome, it can be challenging and not very efficient. Now, I like to think of this new announcement as basically a global vCenter in the cloud that is able to manage all of your on-premises vCenter. So think of what vCenter allows you to do today. It allows you to take all of these individual ESXi servers and vSphere clusters and manage those in a centralized location. So vSphere Plus is a layer above where we have been today and that is a management layer that's able to now onboard all of your existing vCenter servers uh, to have that single point of management monitoring and configuration. Let's dig into this announcement even further. I, I want you to take note of the screen that I'm on and this is actually the official vSphere Plus uh, website and it's just vSphereplus.com so this is just a vanity domain that basically points you back to the products page where we have information concerning vSphere Plus. And if you know, vSphere Plus brings the benefits of cloud to on-premises workloads by deploying high value cloud services to easily build, run, manage, and secure traditional and next-gen applications. So a lot of marketing speak there. However, as we've already mentioned, uh, this is essentially connecting on-premises vSphere with the cloud. So if you click the compare options or the compare tab on this vSphere Plus website, um, you can go down to see feature comparison. So clicking on that, we can get a more detailed view of exactly what we're talking about. And this is going to launch in another tab. So note how it's uh, VMware vSphere product line comparison. What are we truly getting with vSphere Plus? Well, as you know, Cloud Console. We've already mentioned this a number of times. Enables IT administrators to consolidate management of all vSphere deployments through a centralized Cloud Console. And arguably, this is a tool that most admins want to have today. Uh, we don't want to have to log in, as we mentioned earlier, to multiple vCenters, multiple uh, dashboards to aggregate all of the information that's pertinent to our environment together. We want to have that done for us. And that's what this cloud console is able to do. A global inventory service. So imagine this being able to see your entire inventory, ESXi hosts, virtual machines, uh, containers that you have running across your entire landscape. Now that is huge because if you, you know, if you're managing five to 10 VMs, you're not probably going to benefit a whole lot from this 
global inventory. However, if you're managing thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of uh, resources, whether those are hosts or virtual machines or containers, this inventory service, having that at a global inventory level is going to be key to being able to manage things efficiently. And one that really uh, stands out to me is the event view service. So it consolidates a view of all the events, alerting uh, that you have going on in the environment. So you can essentially point out a problematic vCenter server environment, perhaps in another location that you may not have otherwise been alerted to or had visibility to uh, through more traditional alerting or tooling. And this one is especially interesting to me, uh, VMware provisioning service. It says that we can quickly create and provision VMs from the VMware Cloud Console within any managed cluster. I'm guessing with this cloud connector or this gateway uh, service, which we'll talk about a, a bit more detail here in a couple of minutes, it allows uh, this cloud console to have the API hooks into your on-premises vCenter server to initiate actions just like we would if we are sitting in front of the vSphere client logged directly into the uh, vCenter server environment. So that's especially interesting when we think about the prospect of being able to deploy virtual machines in any cluster, any uh, ESXi host, uh, having that visibility and the capability to do that across our entire state is going to be uh, very uh, powerful. Now, when we think about self-service, uh, the automation workflows that could be driven from that type of view in the environment could be uh, exceptionally powerful. And here's a, a another uh, big advantage when we think about a global management uh, solution is lifecycle management. It says it simplifies lifecycle management of vCenter server instances with a single click, reduces maintenance windows, making it easier to schedule updates sooner, allowing more rapid access to new features. Controlling lifecycle management from a global pane of glass is obviously going to be much easier than logging in locally and going through your environments manually uh, performing lifecycle operations. And then finally, configuration management service standardizes and cascades vCenter configurations across vSphere state. It detects and remediates vCenter configuration drifts automatically. Now, it's interesting, it makes mention of vCenter configuration drifts. I, I was really curious to know, and maybe some more devils in the details, uh, more information to come, but I was really hoping as well that we would have the ability to see configuration drift perhaps at the virtual machine level. Uh, but at least for now, we can say that we've got uh, configuration drift management at the vCenter server level hopefully at the ESXi host level. I'm thinking things like, do all of your uh, ESXi hosts have an NTP server configured? Other best practices that we can essentially see all of those things and have a lot of those Skyline features that we know that VMware Skyline, which no doubt is part of what is going on underneath the hood with uh, this cloud console, I'm hoping that we see a lot of that functionality uh, built into this uh, VMware Cloud Console as part of vSphere Plus and vSAN Plus. So we made mention earlier that all of this functionality with vSphere Plus and vSAN Plus is exposed via a vCenter Cloud Gateway. Now, what is this vCenter Cloud Gateway? I grabbed some screenshots from a video overview of vSphere Plus and vSAN Plus as these items were described and I wanted to share these with you guys. So the vCenter Cloud Gateway is a virtual appliance that you deploy on premises and using that virtual appliance, you are able to connect your on premises vCenter servers with this VMware Cloud Console, this SaaS solution that is part of vSphere uh, Plus and vSAN uh, Plus. So as you can see, Describing this VMware Cloud Console, you're given the option to connect your vCenter Cloud Gateway to your vCenter Cloud Console, and you're going to be able to generate a authentication code that allows tying that VMware Cloud Console with your on-premises vCenter Cloud Gateway. Once you generate that code, you can then connect your on-premises organization with your on-prem vCenter 
with that VMware Cloud Console by means of that authentication code or token. Once that is done, you have your cloud gateway connected and you are able to connect your vCenter server. So note uh, the wizard, connect vCenter servers to VMware Cloud. You simply add your vCenter server. And a specific note about this is it was made mention that there are no special certificates needed. You don't have to worry about proper certificates on your vCenter servers uh, to be able to connect. So it's a, a very simple process once you have the cloud gateway uh, stood up on premises to be able to onboard your vCenter servers. And a look at the cloud console, as you can see on my screen, the beauty of vSphere Plus enabled with this cloud SaaS management layer is VMware is going to be able to uh, offer to customers many of these other SaaS solutions and cloud-based solutions to uh, augment your on-premises features and functionality. For instance, as you see here, the disaster recovery, uh, cloud disaster recovery as part of that, as well as special integrations with all of the VMware cloud uh, environments and solutions. Now, when you have your environments onboarded into your VMware Cloud console, you're going to be able to see and have an overview of all of those vCenters. And one of the neat things that you can do is to, in real time, convert your vCenter server and vSphere environment in a granular fashion over to a SaaS subscription model. So if you notice in the upper right hand corner, there is a button convert to subscription and you literally select the vCenter environments that you want to convert to subscription model and they will uh, be converted without any other uh, efforts necessary. One of the great things with this cloud console is you get a global overview of the environment, including your infrastructure, uh, alerting, security issues, uh, objects that are in error, warnings, other informational messages. Uh, as you can see here, we've got uh, certain trends that maybe are developing that the Cloud Console is able to give visibility to. And top events. Notice how you've got events that are uh, categorized automatically and prioritized uh, based on the criticality, if it's a security alert or other operational alert. Uh, and that's going to go a long way with helping to keep uh, your vSphere environment uh, secure. Notice we can see failed logins. Uh, we can uh, create virtual machines, as we mentioned earlier, across your entire landscape. So once you have your vCenter servers onboarded, you literally, instead of your vir new virtual machine wizard uh, being relevant to a specific vCenter server environment, this new virtual machine wizard is going to allow you to pick the vCenter server and then that workflow will take you through uh, where you want to create that virtual machine, the storage you want to use, the template, uh, all of those other things that we're used to specific to uh, vCenter server. And here, a look at a storage uh, environment. Uh, you can see your virtual machines. You can uh, manage updates for your VCSA appliances much more easily. So instead of having the cumbersome effort of having to go through all of your VS VCSA appliances manually, you can now do this all through the cloud console. So extremely uh, nice functionality, uh, powerful functionality as part of this uh, that allows uh, vSphere Plus to take administration management and visibility to the next level. Well, that is vSphere Plus and vSAN Plus. Tell me what you guys think about this new offering from VMware. How do you feel about the evolution of where VMware solutions and services are headed? I would be curious to know what you guys' thoughts are and if the functionality and features that we've mentioned as part of this new solution are features and functionality that you would like to be able to use in your environment. So take care guys, keep learning, and I will see you soon.